from the wonderful Eastbound and Down and the critically acclaimed movie Hell or High Water. But Katie Mixon is here now to talk to me about her new amazing show, American Housewife, yes. Tuesday nights at 8.30 yeah. on ABC. Yes. Katie, thanks so much for being here. I am so happy to be here with you, Ricky. Now, the show premiered uh, Tuesday night. What can people expect from the first few episodes? <clears throat> well, you're going to get um, just a slice of what her life is like. She is an authentic lady living in an inauthentic world, mm -hmm. and she is trying to raise her three kids with her husband um, in a grounded way, where they're not having to conform to their environment. So, it, it, on, in the first episode, it deals kind of with like she hates that she is the size that she is, and it's not a size two and fits in, but she is trying to own it, and you see her kind of go through it back and forth. And she then, kind of embraces the size that she is, but she doesn't does. want anybody to recognize the size as anything Completely. that she doesn't recognize. It's like kind of a little bit of like a walking contradiction, but that's <laughs> what we are. I mean, we're humans, do you know? Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah, that's totally what's happening a little bit. So she wears her Spanx, but then she's like, no, you can't tell me that I'm fat. Like, you have to say that I'm not fat. Do you know? It's like yeah. a whole thing. Mm -hmm. so. Now, I've seen, the, I've seen the first episode. It's so funny. Congratulations. Oh, it's, you're a part of some of the, gr the best stuff out there right now in terms thank of movies so and, and TV shows. But the original pilot was called The Second Fattest Housewife in Westport, which yes. is a plot line of the show. Now, I, I love you, Katie Mixon. What did you think when you got that <laughs> script? <laughs> I said, all right. <laughs> I jumped in. I had just come from Micah Molly. I ended Micah Molly on January 29th. Four days later, I walked into the American Housewife crew, mm -hmm. just that whole creative team, four days later. And then I went in one time, and then they called the team, and they're like, we've got a tester. Don't have a test for anything else. It literally happened that fast. So I just, I was looking for something to do. I was looking to do something so different than what I had done with the Victoria role. Um, for six years, and this is quite different mm -hmm. than her, so I jumped in. Uh, Connecticut is an interesting place, specifically Westport, Connecticut. I'm vaguely familiar with it. Did you do any research and spend any time in Westport? It's a I have not. Good for you. You feel me? I feel it. Good I have for you. Not, I have not, um, but I mean, I did a little bit of research where it's, um, you know, just this upper class, very wealthy, you know, town. Mm -hmm. And so I've, I've done, you know, a little, little bit of research, but it's interesting, Ricky, because my whole thing is like everybody has um, their Westport, yeah. right? Doesn't matter whether you're from like Wichita, Oklahoma City, Los Angeles, Miami, everybody's got their situation where they're feeling like, oh, I don't think I fit in or I'm not doing it the, the, the way they're doing it. And so that's what really, really attracted me to it, where mm -hmm. it's like you're dealing with the insecurities and walking through the fire and coming out on the other end. Now, you kind of drop your southern accent for the show, don't yes, you? Yes. How I hard was to. that for you? Because I've only seen you in, in shows where you have this amazing southern accent that you have. I, you know, I went to Carnegie Mellon Conservatory for four years, and so it's a whole thing. My very first job, I played Calpurnia and Julius Caesar mm -hmm. at Utah Shakespeare Festival. So it's a, <laughs> it's a whole thing that I have. I can do a standard American dialect um, if needed. And so they needed it. So it was a whole thing. I, I went in doing it, and then they were like, oh, you're saying the word again, again? And I was <laughs> like, am I? I was like, I'll correct that for you. So it was a whole, they're always like, Katie. So I'm, it's been a really cool situation.